Guys, how do you pronounce Carlson's name? Magnus. Magnus? Magnus. Magnus? Hi everyone, I still have to show you yesterday's game between Magnus and Alireza at Norway Chess Armageddon game. So let's jump quickly into the game. Carson was white. He started with e4, e5, the most solid reply, knight f3, and here Alireza played knight to f6, which is very solid defense, Petrov. Now, of course, we have to take this pawn on e5 d6, knight has to return, and here Alireza took on e4. In this position there are many moves, like d4 is classical variation, or this knight to c3, I think it's called Nimzovich attack. Actually this opening uh, is my favorite against Petrov, so a line can go knight takes, d takes, bishop e7, bishop e3, castle queen d2, knight d7, and white castles long but actually in this position funnily enough Carson played bishop to d3 and actually this move was played even by uh, many strong grandmasters like Giri, uh, Nepomniachtchi and I think also Caruana and now of course knight was attacked and Ali Reza goes back here also playable is like d5 then we can play queen to e2 and queen to e7 but Ali Reza opted for knight to f6, castle, bishop e7, h3, important move to prevent some jumps with the knight or bishop on g4, castle, and rook to e1 was played. Now rook to e8, yes, rook belongs on e file. And here Carson played the novelty, the best computer move, bishop goes back to f1, so very funny maneuver going here on d3 and going back because yes now uh, white has already castled in this position b3 was played in some games by Puranik and Sarin knight b to d7 bishop b2 knight c5 and here Alireza played bishop to f8 but actually this wasn't the best move slight inaccuracy black should go with d5 d4 and now bishop to f5 because yes now after bishop to f8 white can take here queen takes and play carson plays d4 also notice after bishop to f8 if we uh, let's say now play d4 now black can take and after queen takes yeah black gains important tempi so that was good move by carson now h6 Again, we prevent this nasty pin. C4, bishop has to go out. Bishop to f5. Of course, here, computer suggests other moves like d5, c5, uh, c5 and b6. But yeah, again, computers. Bishop to f5, knight c3, knight c6. And here, very nice move, queen to b3. Also playable was d5 knight e5 and bishop to e3 but here queen is very beautiful on on this uh, file and also on this diagonal queen to c8 we have to protect this pawn d5 knight jumps on e5 takes takes and now we develop bishop to better square bishop e3 and here very nice move by alereza knight d7 and he's transferring this knight here on c5 rook to c1 b6 to prevent c5 knight a4 bishop to d6 but now anyway very good move c5 so bishop is under attack we have to take knight takes and here rook to b8 was played but now really fun begins for Carlsen. you know here in this position we can just move queen away but no Carlsen plays bishop to a6 very strong move and in this position, Alireza blundered with queen to a8. The best move in this position would be to take knight here. And let's say 
if bishop takes this is the best move now queen to d8 queen a3 yes queen was under attack queen g5 now we pressure here the white's king b4 also yeah by the way the rook was hanging bishop to e4 now there's a checkmate of course we cannot play f3 because bishop takes and yeah queen can take like that i mean yeah rook would be hanging so after this move bishop to f1 has to be played but now we can take this pawn and also notice here uh, after knight takes uh, c5 we have to take here otherwise if we take the queen now knight takes b3 bishop f5 and we take a rook bishop takes and black is here better because he's exchange up but anyway yes also this line was very interesting if we take the queen bishop takes rook takes b2 bishop d7 bishop d7 knight d7 and actually white is a piece up as you can see but yes again alireza played queen to e8 now very good move by carson and the only one that gives advantage is knight to b7 and let's try to understand this move uh, so we will try to do random move let's say if king to h8 would be played the threat would be to take here on a7 rook a8 now we can take on d6 queen is attacked so black has to take it and now very nice move just bishop to b7 and if we take the bishop then a rook to c8 would win a queen so that was the threat so black uh, played knight to b6 good move to prevent bishop taking on a7 now again very good move a rook to uh, c6 was played shutting down the queen knight c8 now we take a bishop knight takes and queen to c3 and now there's huge pressure on this c7 pawn very important pawn bishop to e4 was played by Ali Reza rook takes pawn and here again mistake by uh, Ali Reza queen a4 better would be just to take here on d5 b3 rook d8 but anyway position was very bad here bishop to f1 was played of course here computer again recommends just taking here and if queen takes just bishop d4 going for a checkmate knight f5 and we can take a bishop knight d4 queen d4 queen a2 now d6 and this pawn actually is promoting rook d8 there's a nice line d7 queen b1 king h2 queen and f5 and we can take this pawn so yeah white is currently two pawns up and is winning this position but actually bishop to f1 was played by carlson now ali reza took here on a2 but after just simple queen to e5 after a little bit of time he resigned he totally missed that after let's say queen to d5 white can just take a queen bishop takes and simple rook to d7 would lose either the knight or a bishop let's say bishop e6 but now we just pick up uh, a knight and uh, white is piece up so very nice game by carson uh, he will try to come back but there are only two rounds still left so probably he won't win the norway chess but at least he can win some games maybe tomorrow or day after that uh, thank you for watching guys as always please like share and subscribe and i'll see you soon in the next video bye